At our firm, we handle special assault defense cases. People wonder where that term comes from, what that means. Well, we actually have taken it from police departments and prosecuting attorney offices here in Washington. Many of them have what they call special assault units. In those units, they investigate and prosecute cases of sex crimes, child abuse, and domestic violence. We, too, focus on those three areas, sex crimes, child abuse, domestic violence. When we take a case like that to trial, uh, it's the kind of case that tends to inflame the passions of people who can sit on a jury because these cases are so sensitive, cases of rape and child abuse, for example. We have a lot of experience in helping to get juries that can not be carried away by the passions that can inflame people when those subjects come up. What's different about us is that we focus in these areas. It's most of what we do. We're doing this kind of thing all the time. We have an obligation to stay up, not only on the law in these areas, but also on changes in medicine, changes in psychological knowledge, the knowledge of psychological science, because all of these things bear a lot on these cases. So we're different because this is what we do all the time. There are a couple of ways that I can find great satisfaction in doing this work. One is really simple. When we've won a case at trial, when we've gone through the ordeal of trial with our client and someone who's been falsely accused, has been found not guilty, has been acquitted, has been cleared of this terrible cloud over him, this stain on his reputation, that feels very good. Our client has dangled over the abyss. We've pulled him back to safe ground. He feels good, we feel good. But there's another way where we feel good too, and it's not so obvious. A lot of the people we represent are not falsely accused. For them, many of them feel great shame at what they have done, and they want healing. We feel compassion for them and a desire to help them get healing. If we can persuade a judge to give them a sentence that allows room for healing, a sentence that doesn't just warehouse them for the next 10 years or so, we feel very good about that. People wonder how I came to focus in special assault defense. It started back in about 1995 when a case came to me, a young man was charged with molesting two young girls, two sisters. And uh, I represented that man, worked hard on that case for 11 months, eventually taking his case to trial. There were times when I was working on that case when I thought this was hopeless. Uh, but eventually, I saw that his case, the case against him, had been based on a couple of serious flaws. One was misleading interviews of the two girls, and the other was lying. Some of the adult witnesses in the case were flat out lying. We were able to show that to the jury. This man was looking at going to prison for about 20 years, and instead he was acquitted and set free. That was a very satisfying experience for me. I couldn't have felt much better unless I'd spared somebody the death penalty. We gave this man his life back. I also found in doing this work that it played to my strengths, that I am by nature thorough, and a thorough investigation is often what's critical to winning these cases. We advocate vigorously for our clients. That's an important part of what we provide. But there's another part that's not so obvious, but just as important. We provide our clients compassion. This is very important to me. It's very important to each of us, attorneys and staff at the Marshall Defense Firm. The people who come to us, whether guilty or innocent, are in terrible trouble. They're under great stress. We feel for them, and we want them to know that we are there with them. They are not alone in their struggle. I make time to sit down and hear what my clients have to say. It's not simply to make them feel heard that I do that. It's because if I'm not willing to take the time to hear their story, to hear it in depth, I may not understand it well. It's important that I be able to, to relay it to a jury or a judge, and so I take the time to hear it. So far as I know, there is no other law firm in the state of Washington that focuses as we do on special assault defense, sex crimes, child abuse, domestic violence. It's what we do every day, and I think we do it pretty well. If you're interested in learning more about our work, how we can help you, please contact our office and make an appointment. I'd love to sit down and talk with you.